Where are the leaders? 3,000 miles ahead. If I go on, my chances of survival would be 50-50. So congratulations on a beautiful and incredibly moving, but really brutal film. Ostensibly, it's about a difficult outward journey. But for me, the violence was pretty much completely internal for both characters, which I found fascinating. This week, Donald Crowher has been posting some remarkable speeds. What do I do now? A new single-handed record! I'm out here alone! The I violence, the extremity of, of, of the tragedy and the brutality of, of, of the circumstance yes. of what was happening, for instance, well, to, to Donald, definitely out for seven months alone on a boat um, with things going wrong with the boat. But and you were kind of both at sea. We were both yeah. at sea, yeah. yeah. We were both definitely struggling in, in very, very different ways. I, I think with Claire's character, she really kept it together as much as she could, so I suppose the violence that you're talking about was very private and internal. I could hardly breathe. Interesting. Sometimes, yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. So it was. Glad. It was almost. It was a horror without any blood or gore. <gasps> wonderful. <For me. laughs> That's wonderful. It couldn't be a better Couldn't reaction. be a better. Exactly. Yeah. You've if we would it hope the best that way. that's where it were, what, yeah. what we were communicating to. Uh, yeah. It's, um, it's exactly that. It's also yeah. Br British. It's very British. But exactly. Not to, that quiet know, let brutality. It all go. Oh, I think it is. Mm. Oh, I think it is. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I do think we have it. It's exclusive to us. Um, no, others but, have it um, too. <laughs> I do think it's it's something that is, yeah, it's definitely ingrained. Yes, yes, it's a um, social and loyal mm -hmm. sort of constraint that we have mm. to internalise that horror and that um, emotional turmoil mm -hmm. with a wave. Yes. Or, Particularly you know, in, yeah. in that period, I think yes. things have maybe changed a little bit now. Maybe not. Oh, well, I think some things have changed mm. a lot, and I think we live in opposition to that side of ourselves. I think that's why, you know, apart from America, I think the country that was most famous for rock and roll is, is Britain. That's not consistent with that sort of, you know, mm. uh, keep calm and carry on uh, spirit. I think that has endured, but it's very interesting that that kind of counterculture is, has always been so alive, really, mm. since, you know, post-war. So it's, it's sort of like it's the channel. It's That's a channel yeah, or, or an escape yeah. or a yes. rebellion against it mm. or, or whatever, but it, that, that coexists. And I, when, I, when I meet people who are not British or who are not that well acquainted with the country, will think that the, the, the archetypal English person would be a man in a, a pinstripe suit and a bowler hat. And I probably, sort of the roles I've played are responsible for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I sort of think it's interesting that you're not thinking of Johnny Rotten or... Mm. Or, or John Lennon or, yeah. or the Stones or, yeah. you know, which is just as, why is that not a quintessential English person? Too? I suppose yeah. but for the ordinary mm. person who hasn't got that outlet, mm. then it is the sort of buttoned up. Well, it's a lot of my family yeah. are, are like uh, exactly as you described. Mm. And it's, it's um, that you don't make a fuss. Mm. You get on with it. It's quite interesting, actually. I mean, I've been, just, I've been talking about this recently about how we deal with things like facing our infirmities or illness. And, and I, I do know people that would rather live with it than make a, than, mm. than make a fuss, rather than, or get a second opinion. Or, Absolutely. You know, yeah. get, get things properly seen to. You know, I don't want to you know, stir all that up. Yes. It's just, you know, yeah. grit, grit your teeth. Life must be lived. So the question becomes, what can you do to give it all meaning?